All right, so I have been getting a lot of comments recently uh, since I started the Sins of the Prophets playthrough, uh, and they've been wondering how the hell you install the mod with the latest update for, uh, for Sins of Solar Empire. Um, when the update came out, it basically just changed, for me at least, it just changed the mod folder from uh, version 1.84 to version 1.85. So there was a base game update for Sense of a Solar Empire, and if you have Steam, it should automatically update it for you. But I've noticed for some reason, a lot of people just have the game installed uh, through disk. Now I don't know how to update the game through disk through the with the disk. I would imagine you just um, go and get the latest installer from their website and install the game from there. Um, this is the change log on the screen for our, what they did with the 1.85 release. But uh, I went to I went to Google how to update your game if you have the disk install version, and uh, it just says to download update patches, re-download a full installer, or look up your serial number for order for orders via Stardock Store. So uh, that's what you got to do. To update your game if you have the disc but you need to get the 1.85 version so if you don't have the 1.85 version that's got to be your first step is to update your game if you have steam it should have done it automatically if you have the disc like i said just come here and uh it says to re-download a full installer so that's uh i don't know you know that's all i can give you for the disc i don't have the disc version i don't even have a disc drive in my computer so I don't know how exactly you would do that for the disc, but it says to come here and re-download the full installer. So if you have the disc, then you might know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you got to do some Googling, but you need to get the latest version of the game. And then let's go over to Sins of the Prophets. That's the one I'm going to be using as an example for this. Let's just go over to downloads and you'll see right here, version 1.85. So let's click this. And then let's download it. Wait for it to download. While we're waiting for that, let's go ahead and open up our libraries, documents, my games, ironclad games. I don't know why it took me a while to find that. Uh, Sins of Solar Empire Rebellion, and then your mods folder. So basically, what happened for me was Steam automatically updated my game. Uh, I went to launch the game. I didn't even realize it was updated. I did not even realize there was a new DLC out for it. And I still had everything in my mods rebellion 1.85 or 1.84. I mean, I still had everything in there, but when I launched the game, it crashed. So I don't know what the hell happened, but I came in here to see if, uh, maybe LAA wasn't, wasn't enabled. Like maybe I just had to re-enable it again. Um, and I noticed that there was another mods folder in here. There's mods rebellion version 1.85 So I tried to re-enable LAA and then I relaunched the game and it still crashed So I moved all my mods over to the 1.85 folder and uh, Then re-enabled LAA Opened up the game and it worked. So that's basically uh, What I did to fix the game. Uh, it's basically not much different than uh, what the original install video I made was for this. So uh, basically you just got to move all your mods over to this folder and they work now. So it's that simple. Installing mods for this game is a piece of cake. It's nothing like Skyrim or Fallout where if you get like multiple mods on you got to spend hours trying to figure out what's wrong, which mod is conflicting with what, stuff like that. It's, it's honestly a cakewalk. For, for this game. So I'll go ahead and uh, show you how to install them really quick uh, just in case you're just in case you have no clue this is your first time trying to install it stuff like that but here is how you install it. So once the game is fully downloaded uh, which it's not for me but I already have version 1.82 right here downloaded so uh, or 81.2 I don't know what I said but so once it's downloaded you just open up the file open up the zip file drag over the mod over to here, drag over LAA over to here, and then I think it actually comes with an enabled mods text, so you don't have to change it for you. You just delete, uh, you should have an enabled mods text already in this folder. 
So you just delete that enabled mods text and basically drag over the mod, the mod folder, enabled mod text, and LAA over. And then uh, it should basically, your folder should look like this with these three in it. So your folder should just have these three in it after you drag all those over. And then you just want to click enabled mods. Make sure that it looks like this. Uh, you need to have your mod count as one, or if you're trying to install multiple mods at a time, just make you make sure your mod count is however many mods you're trying to install. Like the Battlestar Galactica mod, I think you need three mods on at the same time. It was either two or three, I can't remember. And then uh, every time you want to change your mod, make sure you just change the mod name. So what I what I do is I just come over here and I get that, and then I hit copy. And then I come into here and then delete and then paste and then save. And now the now that mod is enabled. So if you want a different mod, let's say you wanted Dawn of the Reapers, you just come down here and let's say for example this is Dawn of the Reapers. You just get the name for this, copy it, come up here, delete, paste. And then L and then uh, Dawn of the Reapers would be there after you save. So once you load up the game, it would load Dawn of the Reapers instead of Sins of the Prophets. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this. I'm not gonna save because I already have everything enabled. Once you have the mod enabled, you want to open up LAA. All right. So now that LAA is opened, we're gonna go ahead and click this little button right here. And what it's gonna do for me, it automatically opened up on the folder that I needed to be on, but. You need to find your Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Sins of Solar Empire, Rebellion. So for me, it's on an entire different hard drive. For you, it might be on your C drive, it might be on your D drive, your E drive, your G drive, however many hard drives you have. If you, you need to find your Steam though. So you go to Steam, and then you go to Steam Apps, and then you go to Common, then you go to Sins of Solar Empire. So once you're there, you gotta look for the Sins of Solar Empire Rebellion dot exe. Now, some people have their uh, extensions hidden, so they won't be able to see the .exe. Uh, I can't remember how to unhide your extensions. I'm sure if you just Google it, it's pretty easy. But uh, basically, you just click this one right here, Sins of Solar Empire Rebellion .exe, or if you have your extensions hidden, just Sins of Solar Empire Rebellion. Uh, don't do the Sins of Solar Empire Rebellion dev. Just click this and then make sure you have this checked. What this is gonna do is it's gonna enable the game to use more than two gigabytes of memory. So uh, once you have that, just hit save and then it's been successfully performed. So basically that's gonna solve 90% of your crashes. Uh, if, if you're still crashing the game, just come back here and 90% of the time when you if you re-enable it it'll fix the it'll fix the crash uh, i forgot to check it but uh 90 percent of the time if you just come back here and re-enable this with my experience it fixes the crashing um there was one time where it just would not fix it it just kept crashing so what i did was i just i enabled laa on both of these on the dev and on the regular uh since was slur empire rebellion uh i don't I don't use the dev exe at all, but for some reason that fixed it for me. So I don't know what the hell it did. Maybe the game just fixed itself, I don't know. But I enabled LAA on this one and on this one, and then it started working again. I don't think that really did anything, but that's what I did to fix it. But that's basically it. Um, in reality, you just need to update your game to the new uh, version, the 1.85 version, and then transfer all your mods over to this folder. I have heard that if you do have the latest update for the game, let's say you actually have the 1.85 update, but you don't have the mods rebellion version 1.85 folder, you only have the version 1.84. If you have the update, I've heard that if you just change the 4, like, let's say that this was this was what your folder looked like okay well I can't hold on I gotta close this god damn it okay let's say this is what your folder looked like that's what my previous folder looked like and then for most people let's just create a new folder 
No. That's not what I wanted to do. There. For most people, that's what it would look like. That's what it looked like for me when I got the new update. It looked like that. So I came here and my folders looked like this. I had version 1.84 and version 1.85. But I have noticed that some people, they'll, they'll have the update, but they won't have the folders. So they'll come here and they'll have the update, but their shit will look like this. They won't have 1.85. I heard that if you just literally change the 4 to a 5, you don't even have to place everything on the new folder. Just change the 4 to a 5 if you don't have the 1.85 folder, and now you have the 1.85 folder. So, but that's only if you have the update. So, if, you, if you're thinking that, oh, I don't have the update, I can't, I don't know how to get it, I have the disk, and I don't know how to get the new update, then uh, you need to have the update before you change the 4 to a 5 if you don't have the 1.85 folder. I haven't experienced this myself, but I have read multiple in multiple places that that does work for people. So if you're not, if the folder's not showing up for you, just either create it or change your current folder to 1.85. But that is basically it. There's nothing more I can really say on for installing the mod. It's really this game is a cakewalk for installing mods. It's nothing like other games. So if you're still having issues, leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you. I'm not going to guarantee that I will be able to help you. Uh, I'm not an expert when it comes to this stuff. I mean, I've only been, I've only been modding games for like the past couple of years now. So it's uh, when I first when I first got this game and I uh, I got it so I could play Star Trek Armada Three and Sins of the Prophets. It was like confusing as hell to install mods. Now it's like this is beyond easy. I can't believe I was ever like worried that I would fuck something up. But um, if you're having issues, leave a comment. I'll try to help you. And I'm more than likely going to recommend that you, uh, if I can't help you, I'm going to recommend that you come down here on the mod page into the comments. Uh, a lot of the times I come down here and I'll see that some people are having the same problems if I can't fix a crash. And I'll see that some people are having the same problems. And there's always that one guy that has fixed it. I think they have a subreddit too on Reddit. Uh, for the mod so going there checking out some comments there might help as well but uh, a lot of the times there's been like whatever problem you're having someone else has had the problem and someone else has already come up with a with a fix for it so just check the comments on uh, on their mod page on their reddit if they have one um, other than that there's nothing more that I can do for you but like I said Leave a comment down below if you're having issues. I'll try to help, but that is basically it. Uh, sorry if my voice sounds kind of different. I'm doing this in the morning. I literally just woke up like an hour ago, and uh, I haven't had any coffee, or uh, I haven't refueled with G Fuel yet. So, uh, but yeah, but nothing I can do about that. But if my voice is weird right now, that is why. But I'll see you guys. And the next one, I'm also going to leave a link in the description down below to my previous install video. Um, I don't think I left anything out in this one, but who knows? I could be, like I said, it's the morning. My mind is kind of uh, it's kind of hazy right now, but I, I don't think I missed anything. But if you want to check out, if you're having issues, you want to check out the previous video that I did, maybe that'll help you. But I, I, I honestly don't think I did anything different uh, other than change the name of the mod folder with the new update. But link in the description to that. I'm also going to leave a link in the description to the mod. And I'll leave a link in the description to this right here, the Sins of a Slur Empire update. If you have the disc, maybe that'll help you. I don't know. I think you just got to come in here, log in, and then get the latest installer. But like I said, I don't know how to do, like, I, I don't have the disc, but... If you have the disc, first goal is getting the update. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to check out the links in the description for the mod and all that.